key to breakthrough is praise. Mm. That's good. When you turn your battlegrounds into holy ground, that was a revelation that God gave me that absolutely rocked my world. Being a worshiper, you know, worship for, uh, for a lot of people is an emotional thing, right? Mm -hmm. We get moved by the spirit, which you should. You worship in what? Spirit and, and truth. You should. But there's times where you don't feel it. Seth has said that before. He said, we don't come to worship because it feels good. It does feel good, right? Yeah. But you worship whether you're going through it. Yeah. You worship come whether on. you're on the top because yeah. what? Yeah. He's the God of the mountain and the valley. Yeah. Come so on. you worship him all the time. Yeah. You put on your garment of praise. Yeah, that's good. You put it on. You decide. It's a daily choice. You turn your battleground to holy ground. How many of y'all have some battlegrounds as you're yeah. going through right come this on. moment? Come on. Guess what? The moment that we surrender that battleground a holy ground, meaning you start praising your way through it, yeah. breakthrough happens. Come on. Why? Because God doesn't bring the bad. Mm -hmm. He allows the bad, but he doesn't bring it to you. Yeah, that's good. No, no, no. Your battleground is because you have a what? An opponent. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you do? Instead of coming into an agreement with your opponent, right? We want to talk about our battlegrounds, right? Yeah. We want to talk Man, your words are powerful. I'll get that into that one. Third point. <laughs> your words. When you sit there and you're like, man, you know what? My life is really hard. Things are really bad. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is happening. That bill came up. I fell short here. Mm -hmm. My car broke. I don't have money for this. I can't do that. My health, my this. And man, those are legit. That's real life, yeah, isn't yeah. it? That's real. Yeah. That's real. I'm not belittling those things. That's real. But guess what? Mm. He overcame, right? Yeah. 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 He overcame. So the, when, when you're saying those things out loud, you are literally coming into agreement yeah. Yeah. with the devil's death sentence yeah, over your life. Yeah, you good. are literally saying, devil, I acknowledge you and Ooh. I get it. I see what you're doing. Yeah. All right, this sucks. I'm down. Yeah. I'm here. Come on. See, there's a Right? It should only be when you're kicking them in the face. Woo! And how do you do that? It's when you turn your battleground into holy ground. You yeah. worship. You praise your way. I have had moments in my life. Do not think that Miss Washington 2014 was a prissy little girl that had everything handed to her. Quite the opposite. Preach it. Mm. Come on. Mm. I didn't just pop up one day. I had to go through it a lot. Why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I did. And guess what? I learned how to praise my way. Yeah, that's good. Praise my way when I had nothing. Come on. Nothing. Come on. I'm not, I'm not talking like living with mom and dad. I'm like nothing. Mm. Nobody. By myself at night, God, why did you leave me? Why did I have been fed? Why? God, why? Turn my battleground into holy ground. Yeah. You turn your battleground into holy ground. You invite God into your circumstance. Let me tell you something, church. God does not consult your circumstances. That's good. <laughs> he does not consult your circumstances. He changes them. Mm. You invite him in. You put on the garment of praise. And you praise your way. You surrender your battle. And you make it holy. Because here's the deal. Whatever God has authority over the devil is not allowed to be there. Yep. You praise your way through. Put on the garment of praise. Isaiah 61 3. I love this. Yeah, he will provide for those who grieve in Zion. Mm. Yeah. Bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes. The oil of joy instead of mourning. And a garment of praise yeah. instead of despair. Mm. When we praise, we are fixing on how good God is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Come on. When we're up here saying, let it be Jesus. Let it be you, God. What are you thinking of? I hope. I hope when you're singing that, you're really saying, God, yeah. let it be you. Yes. Yeah. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Let us rejoice in your goodness. Let us acknowledge your power. You are fixated on who he is, not what you're going through. Yeah, that's good. 
We need to put on the garment of praise. Praise sets the atmosphere for the Holy Spirit. Joy that God loves to be worshipped. Did you know that when you come with him with a sacrifice of worship, that moves his heart? Because see, even though God doesn't consult our circumstances, he's still aware of them. Yeah, that's good. And when we come to him, when nothing is right, when it doesn't feel good, when you don't know how you're going to get through the next hour, but you say, God, I trust you anyway. Mm. Yes. I will praise you because of who you are. Yeah, come on. Not because of what you'll do for me, yeah. but because of what you've done for me. Yes, Jesus. Because of who you are, I will praise you. That moves the heart of mm. God. That is what we're called to do. And when you move the heart of God, you best believe your mindset will shift on your circumstances. Yeah. Praise. You put on the garment of praise 